Hey, happy wife. Good morning, happy husband. It is morning. It kind of feels like maybe three, four in the afternoon because yes. the sun is baking, but you're under a, a nice little canopy. Yes, which I have put the row behind me to actually give me shade in the, this row. So. Mm. so what are you doing this morning? So this morning before it gets ungodly hot. It already is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, you know, positive attitude here. Uh, okay. So. I am um, de. What is this called? De um, suckering. De suckering. De suckering and tying up our tomato plants. Let's show so what a sucker is. So here's one of the suckers. So you'll notice there's a, a, a stem that comes up and then one that comes out, and this just needs to go away. Comes right comes off the right middle. Comes right off of there. And what will happen if you so don't de sucker? Is these things will actually grow bigger, yeah. and not fruit and it takes, they, it takes away energy it takes away energy from the plant so i try to de-sucker some of them end up being bigger depending on where they are some of them are just starting and they're just little leaves but you want to try to get all of them you can and then i actually look for the biggest one coming out to to start the biggest um stalk stalk thank you so, and see now this one's a bigger sucker, so I am actually going to cut it. So, the thing is that it might have flowers on it, but it will end up taking from the plant. So. Now to some, that would seem like an awful lot of plant that you just removed. Yes, but I know I need to get rid of the dead weight. But it's one of those things that if you don't do it, you're gonna have less tomatoes. Yes. So. Now, the big thing you're doing, is, is tying up tying them up yes so right now i am trying to find the big stock the main stock which is not always easy to find i'm taking a shot of what you've already tied up it looks great honey thank you so we did a short update the other day about how we put down paper and cardboard and covered in grass and this is what our rows look like now very little weeds and this is what she's already tied up. It's just been a very rainy, hot season so far. Um, I am using a propylene, polypropylene thread. Okay. And the reason I use this instead of my other thread out. Oh, my jute instead of jute is because this disappears very easily like it's meant to this i actually reuse every year mm -hmm. so i cut it down and i reuse it and you get that um, at i got this at dollar tree yeah. three for a dollar so um so i've tied it onto the main branch and then i bring it up cut it off and then tie it up here. I do want to show the fencing. So we, these are seven foot T posts and they call them T posts because they have sort of a little T at the bottom. We do not use cages because cages would not hold these tomatoes. I know, look at how big these things are, so, it's great. Um, we get a lot of tomatoes, in fact, we're already getting tomatoes uh, big enough for green tomatoes. So this is about a 20 foot row. We've got five seven foot T posts pounded in and then the the last couple of feet this is just what do you call it rabbit fencing or yeah uh, it was just it was a cheaper uh, metal it's just to hold up um, so it's not like the one that's over there on the cucumbers yeah, th um, this is this is two inch by four inch welded wire. But it's doing quite well as well because I see some huge cucumbers over there. So this just supports them, it keeps the tomatoes off the ground, and she goes through, uh, I don't know, a couple of times during the season and just ties them all up as they keep growing. Just make sure that the rows keep clear enough that you can yeah. walk through. 
Um, this is totally the happy wife's job. I hate this job. This is actually very calming for me. I have my little bucket of stuff. So in addition to this thread, I also have the uh, almost like twist tie material. Okay. So, although mine has came off its spindle. Yeah. Um, and I do have some zip ties in case I need to reapply a zip tie on one of these fences. Um, but I always keep my bucket full of the things that I might need. Little clippers, scissors, um, I have a, a sharpie in there, and then I also have one of these little cutters. So... And what are you sitting on? I am sitting on a little bench that I actually got at Aldi. Um, it is modified to have a piece of wood on there. Um, but it's a nice little pull cart. Um, it does have storage inside of it. Um, but it pulls quite nicely and it seats quite nicely. I just have a board on there for more stability. Um, but I'm going to finish up with this and then you can see what my plant looks like at the end. Okay. Well, I think we did that in one take. Yes. One continuous shot. Yes. All right. Well, it won't be long. We'll be picking tomatoes. And but what you're doing is great and helps them to grow. I'm going to take a few more shots of what else is in our garden. Okay. This is our cucumber trellis. You can see there's one growing. There's a nice big one right there. Uh, I think we, that might be lunch. Some yellow squash down here, which is ready. This is zucchini, although zucchini season is about over. The potato. These are Ariana squashes. Or pumpkins. Oh, they're pumpkins. Okay. And we planted corn the other day, and it is just coming up. There's a little corn right there. Uh, we should still have corn by the fall. All the tomatoes. We've got about a 2,400 square foot garden. These are all potatoes in here. Okay, so I've finished with this. I normally hang anywhere from three to four that tie it up to this one. And then if it's near a pole, which it was, I actually tied around the whole plant to the pole. And then I, I try to course correct a few, but, and I know some of them are heading sideways. It's just because they were laying on the ground. As the sun keeps hitting them, they'll start modifying and growing upward. And if you don't do this, not only will the tomatoes grow on the ground and not be very pretty, but the plants will, will actually split yes. uh, from their own weight. These yeah. things are very, very heavy. Uh, and we always have a, a, a few plants that I just, I have to trim really hard um, just to get them to stay small enough that they're not overweighted with tomatoes and stalks. Yep. So. And what do we do with that? That is just mowed up. Yep. So Rabbits don't eat it because it's part of the nightshade family and chickens don't like it. They won't even touch them. They love the tomatoes. They won't eat the plants. And they have already been in the tomatoes so we'll be uh, fencing this bad boy in today. Caught one. Not a girl, huh? So we're gonna put the portable electric fence around it without the electric. Okay. Well, you got a nice garden, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you. It relaxes me to sit here and do this. So, fortunately, it does stain your hands, and nothing will get this out. My nails are black, and my hands are blackened by the time I get done. I've only done a half row today. you got farmer hands. I know I do. Be proud of it. Own it. I am owning it. Now I'm going to go and get some cucumber because they are cute. <laughs> Say goodbye, Hi, happy wife. wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is just another one of our homesteading videos. We appreciate you watching. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe please button. subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. You know what's hot out here? It's going to be right, right about 
Uh, there. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. See y'all later.